Hey everyone, it's Jay Morrison. As if you don't know already, I'm sure you have been on my YouTube channel already and have watched tons and tons of my over 500 videos. And I'm really excited, we're now over three million views collectively on my channel, so that's pretty dope. Um, I'm gonna be doing a video on finding financial freedom today. So as you guys know, I have a extensive 10 year background in real estate and business entrepreneurship, um, being a realtor, investor, developer, uh, mentor, coach, social activist, TV personality, author, right? So I have a really versed uh, wealth of understanding, a wealth of knowledge, right? And being the founder and CEO of Jay Morrison Academy, I've been hammering home real estate investing for the last couple of years. And now that we're approaching our third year and we have relaunched with a new message on wealth building, I have to hammer home now the wealth building message. I told you guys about, about why buy real estate, appreciates in value, cash flow, tax breaks, commercial real estate, residential real estate, why own businesses, etc. right? You understand the benefits to wholesaling real estate. You understand how to finance real estate, get hard money, how to be landlord, how to interview contractors, how to build filter sources, how to market yourself, how to market your business, brand your business, right? How to establish your business, right? So all that you know, but there's a larger message that I gotta make sure that we all are clear on. And so, really quickly, before some of you log off because you're just like click freaks uh, on YouTube or whatever platform you're watching this, if you guys go to jmorrisonacademy.com, we are giving away a free Wealth DNA Kit. And this Wealth DNA Kit is gonna correlate right into this message of financial freedom. The Wealth DNA Kit comes with a daily budget, a weekly and monthly budget, a financial analysis, which will allow you to see what your net worth is, it also will give you a dream life expense sheet, which we're kind of going to be covering today, and you'll get our Wealth DNA Handbook. All that for free at jmorrisonacademy.com. So you guys can go to that, whoever is ready to leave already. But for those of you who want to stay and get this lesson, I want to explain to you what financial freedom is, what it looks like, and what I call wealth freedom, and how you obtain it. So in finding financial freedom, what it really is, it's about creating and getting started vehicles that will bring you passive income, residual income, or substantial amounts of equity or profits that pay for your lifestyle, right? That pay for your liabilities, your debts, your cost. So that's my definition of wealth. My, my definition of wealth is when you have an abundance of these vehicles and assets that appreciate or bring you cash flow, right? Bring you residual income. So in finding financial freedom, Here's the path to how we do it. And this is what we have in our Wealth DNA Kit, our Dream Life Expense Sheet. The first thing that you must do is you gotta find out what freedom is to you. And freedom for everybody else is totally different. For, every, for each and every one of us, it's totally different, right? So for some of us, we have more meager lifestyles. You know, our goals may be, I just wanna be a philanthropist. I don't care what's on my feet, I don't care how I dress, I just wanna give back. For some of us, it's that you want to wear the most stylish clothes that's out there, or you want the most lavish car there is, or you, some people like to love to travel, you want to go around the world three times. Whatever it is, it's okay. But let's identify it so that way you can find your freedom and find the vehicles that will help give you the freedom. So the first thing to do in finding your freedom is, and what we have in our Dream Life Expense Sheet in a Wealth DNA Kit, is you gotta write down what does that dream life look like? What is your freedom life, right? So I'm gonna say, Freedom, and let's put right under here, AKA, your dream life, right? That's freedom, like, aha, right, you've made it. That dream life, so what does your dream life look like? So, when you guys use your wealth DNA kit and you're finding your financial freedom, you wanna start with, right, whatever it is. So you wanna say, okay, what are my, you know, my current bills, right, as they are. Right, so if your current expenses right now, just say are three grand a month, right, say four grand a month, so $4,000. So you know you're gonna need that just as is, as life is right now. But now you wanna talk about living your dream life and you wanna say, you know what, I'd love to save 60 grand a year, at least, right? So maybe, or maybe you wanna save uh, let's say 
96 grand a year, right? That's 7,000 a month, right? Am I right? No, that's 80. Is that 80? 84. 96 is what? What is 96? 8,000 a month? 861. Yes. Right? So that's 8,000 a month. So you want to save 96,000 a year, right? So I always break it down to monthly. I think it makes things more practical and more reasonable. So everything that we're going to do, we're going to talk about what the yearly value looks like, but then what the monthly value looks like. And that's what we're going to strive for. So just say you want to save 96,000 a year, nearly 100 a year. So we're talking about 8,000 a month, right? So this is just in personal savings. So now you need to save 8,000 a month in personal savings. But then say, you know, you have children and you want to put them through some great schools or great private schools, maybe they're in high school or middle school, whatever that looks like. And so to educate your, your children or your child, just say you're going to need, say that's 24,000 for the year. So that's divided by 12, 2,000 a month, right? So we're going to say kids school, 2,000 a month, right? For you to have your kids school. But now you're going to need to drive your kids to school, and you don't want to do that in the minivan. You want to do it in something luxurious or lavish. So say that Range Rover autobiography edition with the long wheelbase that you want is, you know, 180000 160000 uh, But the leasing on that, which we recommend, because you can get great write-offs for leasing a vehicle, and you can always upgrade to a newer vehicle every couple of years, the leasing for that vehicle just say is... 2500 a month, right? You would say 2600 a month. So you got your Range Rover, that's your dream car, or one of them. And so that's 2600 a month for that car. But you and your lady love to hit the highway and enjoy Saturdays, and she just has a thing for Bentley Coupes. And so you want a Bentley Coupe. Don't feel bad about it. This is your dream life. So dream on. Let it flow. Like, let your dream life flow. Right? So now you got your second car, which is going to be the Bentley Coupe. Right? And that Bentley Coupe is going to be about $2,400 a month. Right? So now you got your dream cars. Your kids are in your dream schools. You have a nice amount of savings going into the bank. And that could just be personal savings or play money. You may say, you know what? I need another ten thousand a month for the put away for just say retirement or investments, right? Retirement slash investments. You need another ten thousand a month. Well, you are balling. But you guys love to travel, and you feel like with your family of four to travel all year, every year for your family. You know, you guys are gonna need, let's say. Hmm, 24,000 a year to travel how you want to travel, right? So 24,000 for the year to travel how you want to travel, you got to put up another two grand a month away for your traveling, right? To cover and finance your vacations that you guys want, right? A lot of money, you're dreaming though, but you're living your life, this is what freedom looks like to you. And say that you are a bit of a philanthropist and you want to give money back and you want to help your community or you want to help underserved or underprivileged people or whatever that looks like. And so, and you have uh, philanthropy and you want to say donations, you want to be able to give away 36000 a year in donations, right? So you want to be able to give away another 3000 a month in donations, right? And now you have this house though where you're traveling, your kids and they're messy. And so you gotta have a maid. You know, you may even need a butler. And you may need a driver for the Range Rover to get your kids to school. Or maybe you even have an Escalade on top of the Range Rover as far as your other family car, right? Whatever it is, right? So we can keep adding and adding and adding. But now let's just say you have a driver. And your driver is gonna cost you 48,000 for the year to have a driver. He has to get he or she has to be paid, and that's four grand a month, right? And then you have your maid, and your maid is going to be forty-eight thousand a year. So you got another four thousand a month, right? Living your dream ideal life, and there could be other expenses, less, more, because we all have individual whatevers, right? So now let's just add it up real quick, and don't laugh at me, my math gets a little funky, but I'm pretty good with numbers. So now we're talking about 
This is, let's see, 5, and 2 is 7, it's 15, is 19, 29, 31, 34, 38, 42. So you're talking about 42,000 a month in residual income and cash flow that you would have to earn or have vehicles earning you that kind of money in order to live your dream lifestyle. So you're talking about, if we say 84, it's 400. So we're talking about times 12, we're talking about 484,000 a month, I believe. 84, right? Yep, 420. No, 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 excuse me. So 84 times 420, that's five, 84, 504. That's New Orleans zip code, 504. So, you're talking about a half million dollars a year you would have to bring in in order to live your dream lifestyle. Which theoretically is like the CEOs that make quadruple in 10 times that amount of money. $500,000 a year. And you can do this and a whole bunch of different mechanisms and ways from business ownership, franchise ownership, real estate development, commercial real estate, right? You work your way to this. So this is an astronomical number. I know some of you about to faint, saying, Jay, what the hell are you talking about 42,000 a year? What we have to understand is that if you don't have the number to work towards, how could you ever get there? So you gotta chip away at it. So let's, we're gonna keep this here, and now we're gonna erase everything else real quick. And let's talk about how we actually work towards getting there, right? So we know that you, to live this ideal dream life, you got to somehow make 504000 a year, 42000 a month, right? So if you start building your real estate portfolio, your stock portfolio, maybe getting some franchises, other business, other investments, right? You got your credit straight. All those wealth areas of expertise we talk about, right? So the vehicles that you're gonna have in order to do this, these are gonna be your vehicles. You're gonna have residential real estate, you're gonna have commercial real estate, you're gonna have business ownership, and you're gonna have stocks, right? These are gonna be your main vehicles other than being an employee. But these are gonna be your main vehicles to drive, to utilize, to drive you to the $42,000 a month number. Now, in residential real estate, right, you have so many different ways to make money. So if you have your own business in residential real estate, which I've had over or nearly 5,000 students in my academy, who most of which have created their own real estate investing businesses. So if you have your own wholesale, one way in residential real estate, right, wholesaling, right, so which is abbreviated. Wholesaling is one way, and that's where you flip contracts. You assign contracts on properties that make sense, and you flip them to investors for more money. So just say in wholesaling, if you had a wholesaling business, you market yourself properly, you're good on social media, how we teach you to be, your website set up, your business is automated, you got yellow letters out, you got filter sources bringing you business, and just say off wholesaling, if you could bring in 7K a month wholesaling, just closing, one to two deals a month, my case sucks, excuse me. If you can get a system going where you can close one deal or two deals a month and make 7K a month wholesaling, that is a very realistic and very reasonable goal. Very realistic, and most of my students will tell you that. Once you get the business going, you can do these kind of numbers, right? Not to mention if you are a realtor or other things, on top of that, you get other little checks. But I didn't even talk about the employee side yet. So just as a resident real estate wholesaling, right? The other way you can make money in residential real estate is flipping, right? So in flipping properties, just say you built your capital up, right? This doesn't, this doesn't happen overnight. This could be a five-year plan. It could be an eight-year plan. It could be a 10-year plan, or maybe if you're really aggressive, a two-year plan. Depends who you are, how you hustle. But even if it was a 10-year plan, would you be mad at finally getting your dream life 10 years from now? I damn sure would. So, and flipping, right, building up a business that you can systematize, you understand how to evaluate deals, 65% purchase ratio, you understand how to manage contractors, you understand how to, to leverage different 
filter sources to bring you different, all that, all that good stuff, right? So in flipping, just say every 90 days, you could flip one deal every 90 days and make 30 grand. One deal every 90 days. So that would be 10 grand a month if you could flip and make 30 grand every 90 days. That would be 10K, just off residential real estate. But now you've used my strategies and you bought a four family with your family. You went from that four family and got a single family to a 3K. And then from there, you sold that, went to another multifamily. And you had, just say, you had 10 rental units that after paying the mortgage, taxes, and insurance, those 10 rental units, right, which could be two four families and one two family, just three properties, two four families and one two family. The profits after paying everything off, your managers and everything else, the profits from those 10 units was the three grand a month, right? After paying all the mortgage and everything else, you brought in three grand a month of what we call buying and holding, we'll just say called renting, right? Renting residential real estate. So three grand a month. So far, we haven't even gotten to any of the other three vehicles and you could realistically set a business up for yourself in the next year to 18 months, if you have the knowledge base and the work ethic, to be able to bring in 20 grand a month off residential real estate. And I know this works because I've done it. I've done triple this in a month, constantly and consecutively, just by having a system and model that works. And that builds your financial freedom and allows you to live the kind of life that you want to live, lifestyle. But this, you already chipped into half of your battle just with residential real estate. But now if you were able to leverage the residential real estate and the equity in your properties and you understood commercial real estate and say you went and you finally, here's the other thing, commercial real estate that we're going to be teaching in the Jay Morrison Academy is how do you do commercial real estate with other people with limited money out of your own pocket, or sometimes even no money out of your own pocket, but are able to syndicate and put deals together. So now you got with some friends within your network and all of you went in on just say, a 40 unit building, right? No, no, a 40 unit building, apartment building, commercial real estate. But out of the 40 units, you know, only 10 of the units, or just say 10, 10 take a quarter, a 25%, you and three other people went in. So you don't get all this money, but this 40 unit building brought in a residual of 20,000 a month, right? Of which you get a quarter of. So you get 5K a month from the 20,000 off of this building. But remember, in commercial real estate, the great part is you pay your mortgage down way faster than residential mortgage, uh, real estate because you have 40 units paying your mortgage down. So now you're creating more cash flow every year. So your first year, yeah, you're making 5,000 a month, but your second through third through fourth year, by the time your fourth year, you're now making eight grand a month off the same property because you paid your mortgage down so fast, which is called principal pay down in commercial real estate. So now you're working your way up to eight grand a month in commercial real estate. Also, you've created equity in a property that you were able to leverage to buy more real estate, et cetera, et cetera, and create more benefits and more, more revenue for yourself. But here's the dope part. In commercial real estate, there's a thing called forcing value, where you can go into a C property and find it in a right one of cups area and find a property that's undermanaged, and you come in with your team, manage the property better, gradually raise rents, phase out tenants, improve the outer uh, appearance of the property, right? Give it a facelift. And now you brought a C property to a B property, which raised the whole value of the building. Maybe you added pet fees now, you added parking fees in, right? You've changed the whole landscape and dynamics, so not just not the building physically, but the financial dynamics of the building as well. So now you got a 40 unit building that you guys paid maybe 1.5 for, but because you used my strategies and went in and forced value, it's, it went from 1.5 and then 18 months later, it's now worth just say two million. So you made 500,000 in value in 18 months, even just say two years. So that means you made $250,000 in value every year for two years, which you get 25% of. 
So now 25% of the 250 is, I want to say, like 65, I believe. So around 65,000 in value is yours, right, per year. So that's 60, yeah, 65,000 per, per year in value is yours, right? So divided by 12 months, you've now brought in about 5,000 a month, right? from forcing value, right? Which is what we call a 5K, excuse me. Forcing value is what we call flipping commercial properties, basically, where you forced value, you now can unload it or tap into the equity through a refinance and be able to force value. So that's not to mention in the commercial real estate, if you had stores, if you had storage units, if you had a warehouse that you were leasing out, if you had land that you were leasing out, maybe a parking, a parking lot that you found, Right? So there's all kind of ways outside this apartment building for you to make more money in commercial real estate. I'm using one of the most basic ones. So now you've brought in eight and five thousand a month over two years from your commercial real estate deal, you know, prorated over that time. So now you brought in thirteen thousand of your commercial real estate investments, while you brought in twenty thousand a month of your residential residential real estate investments, and now you're at thirty-three thousand closer to your forty-two thousand of your financial freedom. And during that time period, either you started your own business, and maybe it was just a simple stay-at-home business. The business could have been your real estate business, or it could be another side business that you had. Or maybe your, your, your kid had a business, or maybe your wife is a piano player, started her own piano playing business, a tutor lesson, or whatever the case is. And so through that business, and you understand how to start a business, scale a business, and work yourself out of the business, right, which is what we teach, what you'll learn in the J. Morris Academy, how to work yourself out of your business. This simple at-home business, right? No big overhead, it could be online, it could just be a few, whatever it is. This business made you 36,000 a year, which is another 3K a month, right? From starting your own business. Another 3K a month. And then, maybe, possibly, you found an opportunity to invest in someone else's business that was doing pretty good or an idea that you believed in or it could have been a franchise, it could have been a dry cleaners in which they were expanding and now you paid them a small fee to have a licensing arrangement to open stores. And so that licensing agreement or that franchise or that other business you invested in, let's just say it was slow to start but it brought you in even to say another thousand a month residual income from a small investment you made to another business. So just from the business side, right, understanding business mastery, how to buy systems, automate systems, create your own automated system, or buy someone else's, which is all what we teach, you'll be able to bring in another 4K a month, right? So now you're at 70, what's that? 37,000 a month just in the business component of building your financial freedom. And now we go into the stocks and say you took our stock course and you understood day trading or penny stocks and all that, and you're like, ah, this is too much work, too much day-to-day -day trading, I wanna to try to park my money into a long-term bond or investment or whatever the case is, but now you had parked some of your money, right? Maybe you took out some equity in one of the properties, and you want to put some away for a retirement fund, or you want to try to create some revenue for one of your businesses, or it could have been your job, where you're still working while you're running some of this other businesses or whatever the case is, but now you park some money in the stock market, and now that money in the stock market has now made you an extra twelve thousand a year, or just even say another thousand dollars a month, right? So, with that thousand plus your four here, you're at five, you're at eighteen, you're at thirty-eight. So, just from this simple, this is all hypothetical. We know. But I'm showing you how it can be done if you drive the vehicles properly. You may just specialize in one vehicle and kill it. Any one of these. You don't have to do all of them, but they're all at your disposal, and you know how to do them if you have the wealth of knowledge. You can always pick and choose your spots. And that's what I love, love about growing and learning. It's like I started off in this narrow lane of real estate investing, residential. And then I learned more about commercial real estate. Then I learned a lot about owning businesses. Then I learned even more about owning businesses, how to systematize business and automate businesses and buy other businesses. And now I'm starting to learn about stocks and finance. So with this, even just coming in at 38,000 and saying you couldn't make any more money, and we were just four grand shy of our financial freedom goal, just scale back one of your cars or one of your expenses or get a cheaper butler or maid or driver. But you still could be at a point of 
having financial freedom by using the vehicle that drive you to your freedom in your dream life. All right, so this is our finding financial freedom formula. You can get your dream life expense sheet in your free JMA Wealth DNA kit at jmorrisonacademy.com. I look forward to teaching you more, you guys learning more from me, mentoring you, me learning from you and growing from you as well. It's a two-way street. We, we grow together. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. Hope it's some food for thought. I know it's a little scary. It's big numbers. But believe me, it's possible. It's doable. People do it all the time. But in order to be wealthy and financially free, you must have a goal and then work towards it. We call it work backwards because in the sense that you're not, most people just think, you know what, I want money, I want wealth, so I'm just going to work. I'm just going to run towards it. We don't say that. We don't say run towards it. We say know what it is, know what it is, and now you build your way back into it. How do I do it? And this is how you, this stuff becomes more reasonable and realistic to you because you have something to work towards. So that's our formula for finding financial freedom. I'm Jim Morrison. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure that you like the video. Comment below if you have any comments. Don't say I'm crazy because I'm not. Subscribe to the channel and share it. Share it on your Facebook pages, your Twitters, and let's get this message out here. I look forward to seeing you guys in 2016, Jay Morrison Academy. And make sure you get the free wealth DNA kit. It's awesome, it's great value, and it costs you nothing. All right, talk to you guys soon. I'm out. Peace.